Welcome to Paul's Cooking Adventures. Today, we'll be making an ice cream cake. <laughs> our ingredients for our vanilla sponge, we're going to need some flour, sugar, eggs, vanilla essence, baking powder, and a little bit of oil. Let's get cooking. In our bowl, we want to separate our four eggs. Our egg whites into the first bowl, making sure to remove all the egg white. Now that our egg whites have made up to a stiff peak, we're going to slowly add our sugar. And as you'll see with our egg whites, they're at a stiff peak. And now with our egg yolks, we add our egg yolks straight in. And we mix these around. Just mix into a little bit in the corner and then fold through. In with a teaspoon of vanilla essence. In with two teaspoons of oil. In our flour, we need half a teaspoon of baking powder. We now fold through our flour. And then into our cake mold. And then into our oven at 180 degrees Celsius. Right out of our oven, we just will check with a skewer Sticking in and pulling out. If it comes out cleanly, there's no wet stuff on there at all, ready to go. Uh, but that one took me 30 minutes. We just let this cool for another five minutes on the rack and then we'll turn out onto a uh, baking cooling rack. We now have our cake ready to go. What a lovely little cake this one is. We're just going to cut this one in half. Uh, we don't cut all the way through, we just want to cut a little bit into the edge and cut around the outside and that way you can meet it in the middle. Otherwise if you cut all the way straight through, it's likely that you won't cut it directly in half. So a little bit at a time, work your way through as you turn it around and you'll make your way to the end. And there we have it, perfectly in half. I'm just going to place one of these inside our cake ring. And then we're going to organize our ice cream for on top. We're going to use our cookies and cream for this recipe. Um, I've left this out of the fridge for half an hour so it's started to soften up and we can add this to our bowl. We just want to use this attachment and we could give it a mix on slow speed. We then want to take out our ice cream mix and place inside and then we can layer this one down. We're then going to add another layer. This one down. So we want to make sure there's no air gaps in this at all. We're then going to add our lovely uh, peanut butter. And on with our peanut butter ice cream. On with one more layer. Make sure that we give this a good push down again. And then we're gonna go into our freezer overnight. We now have 600 mils of cream. We're going to whip our cream. So just in a bowl. We grab our mixer. We don't want to over mix our uh, cream, as otherwise it will turn to butter. Um, once we're at that stage, we can add a little bit of icing sugar. It depends on how sweet you like this. Some people don't even like to put icing sugar in it at all, but um, I've got a sweet tooth, so I'm gonna add a little bit of icing sugar. So at this stage now, we can take out our ice cream cake, which has been sitting in overnight. We have a glass of hot water and a knife 
and we can just run our knife around the outside of the mold. You want to dip backwards and forwards into the hot water which will help you guide you through that frozen ice cream. There we have it, it releases from the spring mold and we are ready to coat our ice cream cake. Grab our cream and we just want to add our cream to the top and give a mix over the top. Just gently spread it out, we want a nice even coating of our cream. Pushing out to the edges and then when we come to our edges we can slowly start to put on the sides and bring around. The cream will stick nice and easy to the sides because it's frozen. Just taking that now out of our freezer, um, we're going to pipe on here. The best way to pipe on here is your first one um, over one side is to pipe on and then to do one directly on the other side. You can then do one on either directionals and then we can do two in between each one. And then our strawberries, we can place on each one. To make a piping bag for writing on a cake, we just want to make a triangle. Um, pretty easy, fold over your parchment paper, um, make a mark, Turn it over and then we'll just cut along the line. It doesn't have to be exact on the ends as long as the middle is nice and straight. We've now got our triangle. What we want to do with it is one corner. You want to fold over and fold around till the centre. And then the other side, you want to fold over the top and around to the centre. Now to make your piece one tight, you can just move these straight in. And then at the very end, we just want to fold this one over and fold it over again, which will hold the piping bag in place. It's ready to go. We have now our melted chocolate. And all we're going to do is we're going to tip in our melted chocolate. We can then fold over at the base to lock it into place and then roll it up a little. What we need to do is at the very top um, we need to make our hole as big as we want it. You can either do that by cutting the tip or by actually releasing the paper. So we can get started now. we want to do is we're going to write happy birthday on this one. We start with a H. You need a, a very steady hand for this one. My hands are a little bit shaky. There we go. Happy birthday. Hi guys. I need your help. I need you all to subscribe. To keep this channel running, I need subscribers. Thank you.